So what I want to do for this video is take you guys through the whole day. Like I want to show you guys everything that I do from making the stencil to putting on the stencil to giving my client his first tattoo. So this is a, this, so this is the, blah, 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 blah. it's too early. <laughs> so this is the concept that I'm going to be doing today. We got the wolf and I'm going to, it's a little dark for me. So I'm just going to make it brighter just so I can see the details a little bit more. Yeah, that's better. To make my stencil, I'm gonna be using um, the calligraphy script. Nice. Making the stencil for this project is, I'm just gonna make it simple, super simple. I don't want a lot of lines. I just want what's important. All right, so here we go. I like to start with the eyes just because, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. Probably add another glare right here. Just give it a little extra, extra bedazzle. I'm gonna make a separate layer just because I, I wanna see the nose even more. Uh, I can kind of see the shape of it here. What is that? <laughs> I'm probably just gonna follow the darkest area. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Look at this. Oh, the highlight. This is letting me know that it's fur. <laughs> this is my, this is me stenciling fur. <laughs> boop, boop, boop. Some sc the scribble technique on stencil? Chill. Nice. I don't think I need anything else. It's more than perfect. Now that I'm done with the stencil, I'm gonna uh, heat up my meal prep because we gotta be healthy out here, my dude. Give me a banger, come on. Ah, ah, ah. Hey, hey. Snacks, I'm gonna save the picture and I'm gonna make it as big as possible. Ooh, it's a good song. This is the size of the paper. So I'm just gonna make it as big as possible. Mmm, this one. I like this one. Let's see what happens once I put on the stencil. Exquisite, meticulous. So I put in all the stencils already. I like this size, it's the perfect size. Nice, there it is. I'm just gonna do some crazy cinematic videos right now. I think for this project, I'm probably gonna use, boom, one, two, this is gonna be my solid black, my medium gray, and probably my light gray right there. I'm probably not gonna use my light gray too much today. I need contrast. This is a 17 curve mag, just so I can uh, do the background. Here it is, 14 round liner, boom. Honestly, I think for the whole entire wolf, I think I'm gonna be using that 14 round liner. Not even gonna lie. Damn. How do you feel? Nervous, excited. It's your first one, huh? First one, yeah. How crazy that you saw me on TikTok now. You're here. I know, yeah. Just one video and then I started swiping through all of them. <laughs> You're like, this is it. Then I then went to Instagram. You're on the other side of the camera. Now. Yeah. <laughs> I, added, I added a little too much. <laughs> You look like a glazed donut, right? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm thinking adding a little bit of flow to it too, like some swirls, just to give it a little bit more dimension if it needs it. But it's only gonna make the tattoo better. It goes all the way around too. Relax your arm, perfect. So I already placed the stencil. There's a, it's a really good stencil. The way I'm gonna approach it is by using a 14 mile liner here on the bottom. Honestly, I think I'm gonna use the 14 mile liner for the whole entire wolf, just so it can give me that realistic fur across the whole thing. As far as the background, I'm gonna use a 17 curve mag, so I can use more of a, some gray tones, some dark tones, and just play with the background. I don't want it to be a boring background, not just solid black, but I want like some black, transitioning into some light gray, some dark grays, going back to black, just to give it more dimension to the whole piece. As far as the top, I'm gonna finish it off with a nice, uh, fade out just so it's not so harsh on the shoulder but I wanted to make it more look like natural
<laughs> Are you ready? Ready. <laughs> Let's do it. That's it. Not bad. Not bad, huh? Nope. Well, like the hard part is just sitting. Yeah, to be honest. Alright, so we just got the background done. I really like the way the flow of it. I really didn't really record the whole entire process just because nothing much to explain about how to do this background. All I did was just like add swirls in the background, filled it in with a little bit of uh, grace just to give it more like a cohesive look, blend it out uh, going this way. If you just add black across the whole entire thing, it's gonna make the piece look very flat. The motion that I'm gonna be using for the fur, it is gonna be this here with my 14 mile liner. I want to take my time with my solid black first and then in the gaps in between I'm going to be adding medium grays so that way it doesn't look empty. I'm about to start this corner of the wolf which is going to require a little bit of finesse because you got hairs coming down here this way which those are supposed to be negative but then you got the the fur of the body going this way and this is not i'm not going based on the reference right now what i'm doing is doing my own thing making sure that it looks better on skin cuando no la llamo siempre más el reclamo discutimos peleamos hasta la noche la molesto y arreglamos I'm gonna start adding some grays just to fill in those gaps. Right in the middle. Yo no necesito GPS. Hey, hey. Mm. Are you gonna eat, Jesse? Yes. Hey. Kenny, are you gonna eat? Hey. Chepe. Are you gonna eat? Alex, are you gonna eat? Hold my hand, Kenny. Huh? I hold my hand. Hold hands, guys. We're gonna bless this food. Don't be scared. Okay, my hand, my hand. <laughs> See, Why are you scared? I know. Go. This is gonna play. Dios Santo, te doy gracias por la comida de hoy. Glorifica mi alma, Señor, en espíritu, si llena de gozo a contemplar la bondad de Dios, mi Salvador. Pues ha puesto la mirada a mil de va suya, vea qué motivo, porque me tendrá por feliz y dicho a todas las generaciones. Pues ha hecho mejor cosas grandes y maravillosas. Amén. <laughs> so, quick little update. Um, what I did here is I did the nose. Uh, I didn't have much to explain with this nose because all I did was add a black and I just followed my highlights with my medium gray. And I did the same thing on the lip here. So I'm about to start this area, which I want to go in depth on how I'm going to do that. So I'm going to set it up. I'm, I'm going to do the scribble technique to start giving me an idea of how far down I can take this black. Because I want to make sure you, you can see those little hairs of that chin. I don't want to make them very subtle. I want to make them look uh, very noticeable. That's very important for, for this area. This is what's really going to define the face of the, the wolf. Now I'm gonna switch to my medium gray and fill in those gaps in the middle. On my reference it is darker than how I'm doing it but I decided to make the chin brighter. I want to finish it off very soft on this area. I don't want to take away from that highlight. Pásele, pásele, tenemos de sodera, pausa de lengua, tripa, poronga, chistorra, agua, soda, gin, turis, moon, seed. <laughs>
first tattoo, how do you feel? I'm glad it's over. I'm about to be over. <laughs> <laughs> Best response, to be honest. It was just the top part too. The, like the bottom was mm -hmm. easy. For being your first, I think you're meant to get a full body suit. <laughs> <laughs> you should get blasted. <laughs> you made you it. Done? You made it. We are done, sir. <laughs> oh, Man. come on, my dude. Yeah, it looks badass. It looks fucking crazy. It was a really dope day. I really enjoyed this project. Love the way it came out. Big shout out to my client for sitting like a rock for his first tattoo. And man, I, I just really love this project. Honestly, I'm really happy. And um, just got home watching my puppy eat her food, watching Tom Segura, new comedy special, and I'm waiting for my wife to get here. Thank you so much for coming back and watching this brand new video. I really appreciate you. If you're a tattoo artist, I hope you learned something from this video. And if you're a tattoo enthusiast, I hope you were entertained. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.